every curve, every lock in your head. Amplifies your beauty to the point where no other woman could compare. Combined with your black skin, your precious melanin. It's enough to make even an atheist believe that you are heaven sent, which reminds me of your heavenly sense, an embodiment of elegance. You embody ghetto this sweet bliss and adequate to a curvy body, full lips and even better hips. You are the chocolate dream woman of Willy Wonka, but still, some would rather call you a monster, call you Medusa, claim that you have a head that is full of snakes, ignorant to the fact that your hair is simply in dregs. I grow tired of their hate as my love for you grows like the nose of Pinocchio when asked the question and answering yes. When the real answer is no. Black woman, you are beautiful, inspirational, capable of turning men into statues from just one glance if I had just one chance for I would tie both my dancing shoes and dance to the sound of your heartbeat. You look like an art scene. I dream of you marching. I don't count sheets. In my bed, alone without you, it is hard for me to sleep. You belong in arms reach. We can start some army because America cuz war on black people is getting alarming. But to tell you the truth, as a black man, I deal with that hatred too. Some days it feels like the member cup, cup, cub versus the black man see it live on pay-per-view. Being called dirty mop head, being told that my hair is made of steel wool. Check this. Being forced to cut my hair to be taken seriously at school. Being forced to cut my hair to attend a job interview. Being forced to cut my hair at work. But how does this affect the ability of what I am paid to do? Denied and ridiculed off the strength of my visuals, but if you got shot and I was the only surgeon available, would you deny me there too? I've already experienced discrimination while in the military from my very own troops. A blow to my physical and to my spiritual abuse. A shock to my culture and to my heritage, a noose. But with this poem and with this flow, I intend to cut us loose. Bring attention to our struggles and wake those who don't have a clue. Condition I live in into our image, shampoo. Be brave, black people. The power to bring change starts with you.